So let's talk a little bit about computer hardware. What do I mean by hardware? Well, basically, hardware are all the parts of a computer you can kick. If you can touch it, it is hardware. We are going to talk about hardware with four different functions. Uh, the first one is input. That is how you get information from you into the computer. The most common input device is probably the keyboard. Every time you press a letter, you're giving information into the computer. That's an input. Uh, things like computer mice, touch pads, microphones and cameras, any way that you're communicating to the computer is an input. The other side of that, the other side of the process is the output. That's the way computers talk to you. So the most common output device is probably the computer screen or monitor. Uh, other ones are the computer speaker. If your computer is making a sound at you, it's giving information that's an output. Uh, things like printers and projectors are all outputs. The lights on your computer that tell you if the power's on or tell you where the volume is, those are all outputs. So inputs and outputs are way the ways that the computer can communicate with the world at large. Once the computer has some information, though, it has to store it somewhere. We call that well, storage. There are two kinds of storage that we have to deal with. One is permanent storage. That's where the computer keeps things that it's going to need to hold on to indefinitely. All of your files, whether they be documents or sound files or video files, those are all put into permanent storage. But the computer also needs memory that just deals with the information it's working on right at that moment. And that's a temporary memory, or sometimes we call RAM for random access memory. That kind of memory is really fast and it's a lot more expensive, but it holds a small amount just that it is about to be working on. And then finally, there's the processor. That's where the actual work gets done, where one thing gets compared to another, added to another, all those kinds of things. The processor is handled mostly by the central processing unit. We call it the CPU, or sometimes we just call that the chip. We have the four functions that we're going to see in the computer. We have an input, and that's put into storage. Storage is going to feed things into the processor where something happens. Then the processor is going to send that thing either back into storage or into an output. So input, storage, processor, output. It's really good to know those four functions because that will help you understand all the different parts of the computer as we go on.